Hello out there, all you fellow Styron users and abusers. This is George coming to you from Kitchen Table Scale Models with uh, just a little video tonight. Uh, I've not been able to do anything for about a week or so. Uh, life has uh, intervened in the form of work and uh, did some traveling this past weekend. So I've uh, not spent much time at the, de at the, the bench and even less time behind the camera. I uh, thought I'd do something real quick. I'm heading a, heading out of town again this weekend uh, on Wednesday, and I'm not going to be back until till Sunday. So uh, I thought I'd get something up there before I uh, go away that you know, just maybe you find interesting. Uh, we're going to look at uh, we're going to look at two aftermarket suppliers tonight. Uh, sort of a mail call stuff that I've received in the last week or so uh, that I think is pretty darned interesting. First up. Um, if you don't know Ray's Kits decals, you really need to check them out. I'm not sure what the whole deal is, but uh, the fellow that sells these in the U.S. is, uh, I think he's up in uh, Wisconsin or something like that. One of those, one of those cold Midwest states. Um, his emails on the, uh, or his websites on the on this little page that comes with this decals www.raisekits.com. Um, I've ordered a couple things from from Raise Kits, uh, Raise Kits decals. Um, but uh, by far the, I, I think the thing I, I really enjoy the most is the most recent. Um, a little backstory. Uh, we all know, we all know and love this car and possibly even this kit, 77 Pontiac uh, Bandit Edition. Um, is it, my, uh, in a past life, I owned a 78 uh, Special Edition Pontiac, uh, but it was a little different than this. This is the, uh, this is a 77 Black and Gold Smokey the Bandit Edition. Mine was a 78 gold and black special edition um i found it in a local used car lot somewhere around 1980 and uh handed my keys and title to my 75 v8 monza and said i want that trans am and uh, they made it possible i took it home had it for several years uh ended up losing losing it in a custody battle uh during a divorce um that's the bad news the good news is i held on to the 70 gto but that's a Another story. Uh, so anyway, I've, I've had this kit for a while, and I, I've always wanted to build a gold special edition. And the decals are a different color on the gold special edition. They're more of a, they're, they're really kind of a dark brown, almost a black. Uh, but otherwise, the markings were pretty much the same. Differences between this kit and the 78 are minor. Uh, on the 78, the space between the T-top was a little narrower. I think, if I'm not mistaken, in 77, they were using uh, an aftermarket uh, source to uh, install and produce the sunroof, the uh, T-tops, whereas in 78, it was uh, factory installed. So it was a little bit different design. But other than that, the cars are pretty much identical. Uh, but I think there were some little differences in the taillight panel, as I recall. But looking at this picture now, it doesn't really seem to be. Uh, but in any case, uh, I had a 78 Trans Am Gold Special Edition. Uh, I can't remember what the option code on it was, but uh, two unique things about that car was the, uh, the pinstriping and the, uh, the gold color, which was uh, Pontiac Solar Gold. I, as far as my research tells me, uh, as far as what I remember, is the 78 Pontiac Special Edition was the only Pontiac, the only car that ever used that color. Um, so it was pretty unusual color. Um, I've been tr hoping somebody would come out with decals for this kit for some time, and, well, uh, Ray's obliged. Um, if you've not seen any of his stuff or purchased any of it, I'm not sure what the, uh, what the whole chain of production is here, but I believe they are actually produced in, uh, in Europe and, um, shipped here. I think the fellow that does them is in no, Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I waited a while for this one. I ordered this one back in February, and uh, it just came in recently. Uh, so there's a little bit of a delay. I think they're having some supply chain issues. But uh, bottom line is these, these, these decals are just absolutely delightful. Uh, I mean, the, de the crispness, the detail on that bird is, uh, on the screaming chicken is spot on. 
looking at it now, it does look even as though the, uh, I'm looking at it for the first time under bright light, and that is not black on the bird. That is a dark brown, which is the color the original was. Uh, comes complete with all the pinstripe decals, a whole bunch of side marker decals. Uh, it looks like even under hood decal there, maybe. Um, battery decals. Um, decals for the gauges and console pieces. But wait, there's more. Uh, this comes with two uh, two sheets of decals. That one and this one. Um, this has uh, some Goodyear tire decals, seatbelt decals. And what I really love is that it, uh, it has the um, gold engine turned dash decals, which uh, my Trans Am had, uh, and the gold engine turned insert for the uh, console. Um, it was a fun car, a uh, car I always, I always wanted to Trans Am since they first came out. By 1980, I finally was in a position where I was able to afford one. Um, but again, by 1985, um, I no longer owned it, but I owned my 70 GTO, so life was good. Uh, so one of these days, I will reproduce that 78 Trans Am in total um, using this kit and these decals. So. If you don't know raised decals again, go support them. Buy some decals. They're good stuff. Next up, uh, let's see. Here's this box. Next up is uh, is today's mail call from VCG Resins by Reese. Now, I opened up this package, but I, I, I didn't go any further because I, I wanted to unbox it and show you how this guy packages this stuff. Uh, this is the second order I've made from, from Josh. Um... Uh, quality is just over the top, uh, packaged nicely, uh, nice little jiffy bag with a little cardboard box. And let's see what all is in here. Let's see what is in here. Let's start out with, this is a, uh, it's a six cylinder Ford, 240 cubic inch Ford motor, uh, hot rod version. It uses six one-barrel carburetors, comes complete with headers, uh, nice finned valve covers, and I'm not even showing you what it looks like, and all you're seeing is reflection off the bag, so I don't know if this was such a good idea, but I'm going to kind of go through it real quick and just show you what I got. Uh, that's a six-cylinder hot rod engine. Um, next up, I've got some really, really cool glass pack um, mufflers. Look a little short for cherry bombs, but you know, they'll work. Um, next up is a uh, hot rod version of a Chevy 6. Um, great headers on this beast. I mean, look at that header. Uh, it's just a fun, fun little way. The, the detail on this stuff is just incredible. Uh, I'm trying to get, get a shot of the transmission on one of these cars so you can see this linkage on one of these things. I hope you can see on here. Um, I'm going to take that out of the bag. That's worth looking at. Um, if you bear with me here. This is, this is, by the way, I don't, I don't script or plan my videos. I just kind of dive right in, which I guess kind of shows. Um, but if we can get some focus on that, look at the shift linkage on this thing. This is just, I, this is, this, Blows my mind. Blows my mind. Um, this is a, a GM Muncie four-speed transmission. I think this I bought to go with the the Chevy six. Um, this looks like an old Ford top loader. Yep, that's what it is. That I bought that to go with the Ford six cylinders. Um, and here's another. Uh, I guess that looks like a Muncie four-speed. Maybe I'm. I'm not even holding it in front of the camera, am I? I'm new with this, guys. Be gentle. Uh, last but not least, uh, I've got a, a larger 300 cubic inch um, Ford six-cylinder Cobra engine. What, uh, what's unique about this um, is it uses... Uh, it, it's, it's a Ford six-cylinder. You know, it's got some cool headers. Um, and the intake on it, it uses three two-barrels and uh, um, a Cobra style air cleaner. Uh, it's a fun, fun little engine. I, I kind of, 
I'm looking at putting this in maybe a like a like a first generation Mustang, um, and I think that make kind of a fun build. Um, the uh, the Ford hot rod motor. Um, I picked up a kit last week that I, I know, did, did a couple of weeks ago at a at my model car meeting at the Maryland Automotive Modelers Association. Um, it's 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 a kit I have two of already. It's the uh, oh hell, let me show you where is it? Here we go. It's uh, this kit. I just think this would be fun with that uh, Ford six cylinder and no hood, not full fendered. Maybe channel the body down over the over the frame. I don't want to get into a lot of body work and modifications. I just want to. I just want to have a fun build that goes together quickly. So I don't know. I'll, I'll do a little something with this. Maybe just do a do a fenderless hot rod with that six cylinder, and then. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's kind of it. Um, here's the uh, here's the Chevy Six. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, was thinking possibly of putting in a 32 Chevy. Uh, I do have two of the 32 Chevy Coupe kits, uh, which is kind of another nostalgia kit for me. Um, my father's first automobile was a 32 Chevy. I came along 20 years later, so never got to see it. But um, he often talked about it. It was metallic blue with dark blue fenders, and uh, uh, that was that was his first car. Um, and he loved that car. And I remember one of the few models he built was a uh, oh golly, who made the old metal kits? Um, Hubley, something like that. Made those metal kits anyway. He did a metal kit. Uh, of a 32 Ford and painted it those colors and probably the only model he ever built besides a luxury liner USS United States which I used as a nightlight in my room until I uh, went off to college so that's it um, you know not a fancy video because I don't do fancy videos I just I just ramble and share stuff so that's it for tonight guys um, I'm gonna Going to be off traveling this week. Otherwise, I'd be participating in the 48-hour group build because that looks like it could be a heck of a lot of fun. And uh, unfortunately, I can't do it this weekend. If they did it next week, I'd be there. Um, I'll be home alone without adult supervision next week. So uh, I'd be able to do that quite easily. But in any case, I digress. You all have a good night. Thanks for watching this crap. I can't call it crap. Somebody else calls their videos craps. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching. If you like it, like it. If you like it a lot, sub. And you might see some more of this garbage um, if you choose to. I can't make you. <laughs>